The Times reports that Rishi Sunak is planning a radical set of reforms to the UK's education system. The paper says some of the Prime Minister's plans include a new British baccalaureate and a network of elite technical institutes to transform vocational training. Mr Sunak is reconsidering tax rises and major public spending cuts following an improvement in the state of the nation's finances, reports the Daily Telegraph. Elsewhere on the front page, King Charles is said to be extending the number of royal family members who can act as councillors of state rather than replacing the Duke of Sussex and the Duke of York. Do you really want to scrap pension triple lock again? Asked the Daily Express, alongside reports that millions of pensioners fear greater hardship after the PM appeared to backtrack on Liz Truss's promise of a 10% triple lock rise. The paper also says Mr. Sunak and Chancellor Jeremy Hunt could be considering a raid. On money earmarked for pensioners in a bid to fill a £40 billion black hole in government coffers. The eye also looks at Mr. Sunak ripping up his predecessor Liz Truss's growth plan. The paper quotes a No. 10 source as saying that their team is trying to reset and instill discipline. The Daily Mirror offers a different focus to many other papers as its front page leads on Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanking the paper's Pride of Britain awards for recognizing the braver. The Guardian leads on Mr. Sunak rejecting what was left of Miss Truss's legacy in his first full day as Prime Minister. The FT also looks at Chancellor Jeremy Hunt delaying the date for his debt-cutting plan. And there is a powerful picture of a young woman standing on a car as Thousands made their way to Saqqez in Iran to mark 40 days since the death of Masa Amini, who was from the city. Metro headlines on the prime minister's roar as he took a swipe at Labour leader Keir Starmer and other critics during his first PM kiss. The paper also reports on backlash. Over Foreign Secretary James Cleverly telling LGBT football fans to be respectful if they go to Qatar for the World Cup next month.